very good morning to all of you om shanti and we are there on the 14th day of a blessing beautiful blessing which helps us souls to become very powerful we are powerful souls we are the children of the incorporeal god the father who's bodiless a soul and we are also a soul he is supreme because he is supreme in his powers the eight powers which have been described in this video in the description just go and have a look at what those powers are we think that god has the power to strike a lightning power god has the power to make somebody alive from dead we think that god has the power to change the world completely by destroying the ugly and important people and making stronger powerful people more stronger we think so many things about god that he is a magician in so many ways but what are those powers what are those qualities which god has which actually are very powerful and very potent and even those souls who are important in terms of spirituality in terms of those powers spiritual powers and spiritual values also become potent with those qualities so now how do we become somebody who is a master ocean who can accommodate people situations and things in a life let's go ahead with this blessing so baba god the father says may you be a master ocean he is giving us a blessing with the power to accommodate accommodate things in situation and thereby become an embodiment of success on the stage of service we all are on a stage of service either you are serving your family either you are serving your workplace or you are serving society in an ngo we all are in a workplace right but then how do we become somebody who's successful even if certain things in our life during service don't go along as per our wish as per our expectation so baba says that when you come on to the stage of service now he's explaining so deeply so beautifully when we come on to the stage of service many types of situations come in front of you right sometimes situation comes in such a way that the five elements let's say i am sitting over here in front of you and the battery of this phone goes down from which i am recording or the lights start flickering right so situation sometimes some people put you onto the stage they say no no i think that person is better you come down we'll put that person onto the stage it can hurt your ego right so how to accommodate all those things therefore accommodate those situations within yourself and you will become an a, a an embodiment of success that's the only method so that we don't become unstable in our thoughts in our mind when some situations or some people behave or react or speak out words in such a manner that we feel can hurt us so how do we accommodate those things so baba says to accommodate means what does it mean to accommodate should we accept all the things which are coming to us it means not to have the slightest trace of anything gross anything gross means anything disturbing any situation why does it happen in my case why don't they support me why am i always blamed so all those things which are worldly things should not affect us because i am a soul i am a powerful being and every situation is making me more experienced and more powerful and getting me ready to face even more powerful situations and stages where i can go and serve in numerous amount of souls so that's the attitude which one should have then everything becomes very small even in the form of a thought or feeling merged in me in you that means to accommodate means to have the slightest trace of anything gross even in the form of a thought or a feeling merged in you so it shouldn't be there we should not be merging all these experiences which are not so profound not so good and keeping them in the form of feelings and we are merged it so deeply that we are in the stage of blame and we are in the stage of cursing the self or cursing others and making a spiritual stage very very weak so now transform words that are not benevolent let's say somebody say certain words which are not benevolent towards us when we have done some service transform words that are not benevolent into benevolent feelings now how do we do that we can be grateful to certain souls who are complaining about 
certain words or certain behavior or certain thoughts which were not in synchronicity or in synchronized manner with the kind of service which we were doing or we were supposed to do so we can learn from that instead of coming into a feeling of rage or any kind of negative feeling or let's say hatred right towards that person so transform words that are not benevolent into benevolent feelings towards self and towards the other soul also in such a way that it is as though those words that were not benevolent were never spoken let's say you're a king and somebody comes to your courtyard so to your court and that person speaks ill about you in front of everybody else now you're a king you know your position you're a soul you're a powerful being with qualities and virtues you are god's child you can be in mistake certain times but then yes you are humble at the same time so what will a king do a king will accept king will welcome king will say okay how can i improve myself how can i become better so he will turn those non benevolent thoughts and words into benevolence and he will even oblige and accept those kind of people who are coming into his life so as if they were never spoken he will turn them as if they were never there to hurt him right so you are a soul you are a king of your life transform god baba says transform defects into virtues if you have got defects you turn them into virtues you fill those gaps up with the qualities and you find somebody with defects who is complaining and finding faults in you you start talking about his greatness you start seeing the goodness in that soul so once you do that the soul also becomes lighter that soul also starts seeing that yes me the king who has certain defects also has the quality of seeing goodness in others so that brings the souls into peace with each other makes them friends transform defects into virtues and defamation into praise so if somebody defames you you praise yourself first stay be in that stage of self motivation which is a spiritual motivation which means for example i am the child of god i am transforming into the most pure soul in the whole world i am a powerful soul i am a master powerful soul i am a master ocean of purity i am a master ocean of peace just like god the father using these words of self affirmation on a spiritual basis makes us powerful and it doesn't shake us up when situations come in our life so transform defects into virtues and defamation into praise so when we are on the stage of being a spiritual king nothing affects us rather we start giving fame to others rather we start praising others because we are on that stage as a king we don't start acting like a normal person being a king we don't start getting agitated frustrated sitting on that huge throne as a king right so we transform defamation into praise and you will then be called a master ocean so this is the only way to become an ocean in which you see we get those rivers which are dirty which are carrying the muck and the mud flow into the river while flowing what happens is it carries everything into the ocean so the ocean can get dirty but the ocean is huge ocean knows i am powerful and pure so you are a powerful soul you are a pure soul you don't get affected if a impure thought impure words of somebody flow into you you just absorb everything but you are vast accept everything and while you are accepting everything you are at the same time calm and composed so that is what it means to be an ocean somebody who can absorb the good and the bad at the same time but remain stable and constant at the same time so this is what spirituality teaches us and at brahma kumaris we learn the form of meditation and self appreciation self respect as a soul and we become powerful on a daily basis i welcome you to see the link brahmakumaris.com go on to that search for the nearest center next to you next door to you go there and learn for the meditation learn it for free go ahead for the meditation thank you so much have a blessed day om shanti